What would your record be if you bet every favorite this MLB regular season or every over? Well, I have the numbers. Let's get into it. If you bet every favorite this MLB season on the money line, you would have won 57% of the time but lost over 13000 uh, you would have actually done better betting every underdog and winning only 43% of the time, but still would have uh, cost you 6K. Uh, this is why winning percentage means very little when betting money lines. If you bet games on the money line at minus 150, it means you have to win 60% of the time just to break even. Um, every money line can convert into an implied probability. You know, betting games at minus 110 means you need to win 53% to break even or 52.38% to be exact. Let's look at spread numbers, or run line as it's called. Underdogs plus one and a half runs, one 55% of the time, but not enough to cover the juice attached to those plus one and a half runs. Uh, season numbers for over-unders are pretty interesting here. Almost exactly 50-50, only off by a difference of 13 games, which is crazy on a sample size this big. Pretty ideal for the sports books here, getting close to 50-50 on the over-unders. Uh, another interesting split is the home and away splits. It's exactly 100 games off uh, uh, for a difference. The home teams won 100 games more than the road teams did. Uh, despite the home teams winning 100 more games, they're down almost three times the amount of money. Uh, that's because home teams are favored more often than road teams. But that's it for this one. Be on the lookout for my next video where I go over team-specific numbers, most profitable teams to bet on, best over teams, best under teams. Until then, good luck with your bets.